All right, find center of the column and then come over for your measurement, okay? So find center of the column and then say that this is six inch, come over three inches, that's, that's my measurement. I, I go to that wall and I take the measurement from there to this, lot, this mark and then I go to either end, boop, measure six inches over, boop, for the other side, other end, right, wall over, boop, six inches, and then we snap it the whole way. And then with any luck, the snap line will be just on the outside on either side of the beam, which it is here, where we're just in there. And then the drywall will just go whoop, right over. Double layer 5.8, six inch, 25 gauge with our 22.5 rock wall. 18 feet high. And the exterior needs to be finished too. Okay, 46 feet of wall, uh, concrete and steel. Um, I'm just gonna grab 60 of each for now. Um, it's like you need 10 per, like one a foot, uh, 10 per every 10 foot piece of track. So, uh, 10 strips, this is for the 351. Uh, we got the uh, 16 mil for the steel to steel, and then the uh, 19 mil for the uh, steel to concrete. It's just a little bit better. And, of course, yeah, the green tabs. Oh, yeah, it's going to be shot to that, that tr truss there. It's kind of crappy but it is what it is all right just for now while i'm charging my line laser battery i'm going to use two pin lasers and go up and nail in the top track i'm going to mark up the wall as well for the wall stud using a, a speed square i'm just going to square over the mark check 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 i'll grab my measurements i'm just doing it this way so i can have free movement with the lift for now and then i'll bang the bottom track on the bottom okay after okay man so what we what you see here we're splitting the beam on the top track my nice c clamps that i recommend here are great for this sort of thing this is why i use these ones specifically is for doing top track like this whether it's an i-beam or a joist okay these uh will be got the reach the grip now with this uh when you're shooting to a truss like this you gotta shoot close to the outside of the lip because the closer towards the middle you are, the stronger the steel is. So the trick is to shoot it on close to the edge on both sides of the hat. Okay, we call this the the, the hat, right? It looks like a hat. So the, this is uh, what that's about. So the that's the 16 mil shots. Let's see if I can find one. There's one right there, right? Splitting the beam again. Uh, that's what I like. That's what I mean. Shoot towards the outside of the hat. Okay, on both sides. Oh, and then go. Yeah, like I said, there's supposed to be ten in every ten foot length. I feel feel towards the outside. All right, yeah, so like you can see, we're doing it backwards. So I got the, my, the top track on and my layout done, okay? So I know where my studs are going and I also took my measurements as well. So now it's time for the bottom track. So seeing that I came this way 10 feet, I come now backwards with full tens this way, okay? So that way it staggers the joints, okay? Boom, boom. First thing you need to do here is cock it, and then we're gonna shoot it down with the three-quarter pins. Okay, so mono, 
is the brand I'm using, but there's Chemtron, but it's just the acoustic sealant, okay? Acoustical sealant, it's generally, it's always black. It doesn't matter the brand. Well, in Canada, anyway. I'm gonna go, whoop, and then I'm gonna go. You generally want a quarter inch bead. And then what I do at the ends is I go like, you know, and then when you're done with it, you can pull it back so it doesn't get all messed up, but on to the next. to my uh, concrete pins, the three quarter pins. You don't need a close up. Um, I, uh, I forget what I was gonna say, but it's okay. Switching over. So seeing that the front wall has to be drywalled, I'm just gonna come back like three quarters of an inch. Okay, top track, bottom track is down. You see I got, like I said, 50 shots on the top, 50 shots on the bottom. Uh, it's 46 feet, so yeah, man, 10 shots every 10 feet, right? Um, you see two at the ends and then stagger, boom, 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 two in the ends, stagger, do, 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 do. And then now you can see uh, where the track is at the top and the bottom, all the steel will be hidden inside the wall beautifully, right? We won't have any issues with the, with the steel sticking out. It's awesome. We have a pretty consistent uh, height too for our studs and that's good. So what I'm going to do now is laser down uh, 16. So I'll laser down at the 16 here and on the other side of the pole, right? I'll laser down on both sides and then draw my centers along here and then I'll know exactly how many studs to cut. Sweet. Okay, so I'm just cutting the channel. Uh, once you're studying at the wall, you got to stop and uh, get your channel in and then once you so that when it's all studded out, you just pull it back. The channel goes every four feet, right? So the wall stiffener. So you kind of see I just lay it out on the floor. And I don't use measuring tape at all. Make sure it overlaps a bit. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cut it. You know, with channel, you just kind of cut the ends. You, you push out like in towards the middle and pull like this into the middle. And then it just kind of, Breaks. This is a mess. Jerk is hot. All right. So I know I'm gonna need three rows, so I get three prepared. But uh, you kind of see from this side here. I'm gonna put and, and always like screw off the bottom or the top, one or the other, before you put it in. You can see, right? It's just, it, it won't go in. 
enough gonna snap it snap it in yet. Looks like I could have added another stutter thing. So so when these studs are in, I just pull it back, right? So sir. Okay, so for the most part they're the same, but I'm gonna cut two at a time. Uh, they change a little bit, but I want to take three quarters of an inch off of the full height. Uh, I already know what I need to take off from the top, so I don't have to run my tape all the way up. Uh, the first time I go from the bottom up, and then I just measure down, and then I can take off what I need after that. It just makes it so much easier. running your tape all the way every time. little black framing screws uh, for the light gauge steel. Now they're in the 7, seven by 9 sixteenths. The 7 by 9 sixteenths grabbers, yep. Yeah. I thought this job was going to be 20 gauge, kind of lucky it's light gauge. Uh, screw off the front, square it over with your speed square. You can see we got the channel ready. Uh, I'm going to go up now, do the tops, uh, screw in the front, square them over, screw up the back. Uh, it's important these demising walls double layer to square all your studs because you you don't want like you've got to make sure they land you, it, it once i show you how to, the drywall part works yeah you want your studs level that's why we leveled up on either side of the column and uh as well we plumbed down because i did my layout from the top this time but if you do your layout at the bottom you just plumb up but um anyway so yeah <clears throat> that's that i guess i'm gonna grab some more screws we're leaving the end open here to drive the lift through. Uh, to get out the door, to get out the door, we have to break it down, and it's a pain. So we're just going to leave this open to drive the lift through. I'll drywall, uh, and I'm going to what I what I'll end up doing is I'll, but I need to drywall this first so that I can uh, screw the stud to it, and then do a header, and then put the studs in so I can drywall the top. You'll see as I go. You'll see. For the end wall stud, uh, we're using inch and a quarters. Uh, this is double layer 5 eighths you could use, uh, if there was to say a stud behind it, two inch screws. But I have laser marks. All right. So yeah, every two feet I'm just kind of angling it in, right, on both sides of a, of a six inch like that. Yeah. Yeah, every two feet, making sure it's on my, my laser marks. Do you need your uh, square? You have it? Okay.
put the, the screws down. You don't, on the slot track, don't forget to need three quarters of an inch play, right? So you, you make sure it's three quarters of an inch down from the top. You know, kind of a little, a little bit in the, like kind of in the middle. You know, so it can go up and down. I can pass you up, come up. Yeah. What do we do? Also, camera's on 23% too, just to let you know. Nothing. Freaks me out a little bit. I've been driving these since I was 15. Okay. The first one I drove, it was like four times the size of this. It's huge. That's crazy, man. I was hanging big metal, like iron, eight inch pipes. It's fucking insane, dude. God. <laughs> My girlfriend, her father was a farmer. Oh yeah, yeah, you told me about this. Yeah, he brought me to work with him in the summer. Yeah. Okay, boys. So yeah, you see, like here, I can I can snap down the the angle. I got the top and bottom screwed off, so I had exactly enough studs to uh, do this wall. Um, I know I didn't skip a single 16 um, But I wasn't a I wasn't able to shoot any to the beam. That's okay. Um, it's it's nice and strong up there It's shot to the uh, joist uh, uh, like I saying every uh, 10 shots every 10 feet <laughs> I'm leaving the end open the drywall is coming tomorrow and I need to drywall here And then I'll screw the stud to that. I'm gonna have a header across here so when I drive the lift through, I'll drywall the other side, and I'll drywall as high up as I as I can get, uh, you know, with drywall, and then uh, then I'll drive through, close it up, 
finish the drywall there and then come over here drywall and then the lift will be on this side permanently so the other side will be kind of done but minus the taping though shit well i could tape it while you insulate yeah right on No, I just wish we had drywall. <laughs> oh yeah.